How are you, my friends? In this uh, video, I'm presenting lecture number 10 in the pre-calculus course. This is about circular arcs and circular motion. Let's see. Please, you can review lecture number nine on angle measure because the lecture number nine and lecture number 10, they are related. At the end of this lecture number 10, Please, you can try the old exams questions for both lectures. Now, let's see the length of a circular arc. Suppose we have a circle here, okay? And then we have an, an arc. You see the arc here from E to F. This is what we need. So let's call it S here. So the arc from E to F, let's call it S. And then on the, on the circle, we have a radius R. So the radius is OE is equal to OA is equal to OF. All right, so each one is R. And then the angle EOF, so this is the big angle here, we call it theta. And then alpha is the small angle EOA. All right, so this is alpha. We draw this angle alpha such that the length of the arc EA is equal to R. So here R is unknown. Suppose R is five centimeters or six or seven or 50. And then the same radius here, we draw the arc EA. So this is also R. Since we have the radius is equal to the length of the arc EA, then this angle alpha by definition is equal one radian. We have seen that in lecture number nine. Now let's take the ratio, the big angle theta, see this is angle theta, EOF, the big angle theta divided by angle alpha for the ratio is equal to the length of the arc EF divided by length of the arc EA. Now the first one is S and the second one here is R. Now alpha is one, so S equals R theta. That's the formula we need. So S will be the length of the arc is equal to R times the theta. Theta should be in radians here. You cannot use theta in degrees. You have to convert it before you use it. Now, I told you in uh, lecture number nine that I will show you why complete rotation of radians is equal 2 pi. I will show you here now because we have to use the formula S equals R theta. Now, we know, so suppose we have a circle of radius R. Now the circle here, the circumference is C, capital C, 2 pi R. So you can have an angle like this. We can have an angle straight. We can have an angle bigger. We can have a complete theta here. Why it is two pi, I will show you. Now, if you use the formula S equals R theta, theta can be S over R. Now the S is the length of the arc. You see, this is the length of the arc, small arc, bigger arc, bigger. So the arc in the complete rotation is the circumference. So S equals C equals two pi R. I put it in the formula for S divide by R, we cancel the R, so theta will be two pi radians. All right, so complete rotation in radians is two pi radians. That's an example here, find the radian measure of the angle that cuts an arc of 36 centimeters in a circle of diameter 12. Second part of the question, in which quadrant does this angle lie? So what do we have here? We have S equals 36 centimeters. We have the diameter 12. So we have to find the radius diameter over two, it will be six centimeters. We know this formula S equals R theta. So theta will be S over R. S we know 36 and divide by R six. So it will be six radians. Now you have to imagine where is six radians? Six radians, it lies in quadrant four. I will show you why. Because six is less than 6.28.
and we know complete revolution or complete cycle in radians is 2 pi, which is approximately 6.28. So the angle 6 radians is before 6.28. So it lies completely in quadrant 4. Let's see another example. Find the length of an arc cut by a circle of area. This circle now, I give you the whole area, 144 pi inch squared. And the central angle, 150 degrees. Here you have two things to do before you find the length of the arc. So what do we need here? We need S. I give you A is the area, and we know the area is pi r squared. See, so cancel the pi. R squared is equal to 144, so the radius is 12. So you can find the radius from the area. All right, convert theta to radians, 150 degrees, multiplied by pi over 180, it would be five pi over six radians. Now you can use only the radians here, theta five pi over six times r the 12. So s will be 10 pi inches. Remember to write the units. Similar question, find the degree measure. Degree measure means find the angle but put it in degrees at the end. Of the central angle in a circle of diameter 54 meters that intercepts an arc of length 12 pi meters. So we have the S here and we have the diameter. All right, let theta be the angle. See the diameter here, you can see that the diameter 54, so R will be 27 meters. S is given 12 pi from the question. So S equals R theta, so theta will be S over R. We need theta, 12 pi, 12 pi is the S, over 27 is the radius. So four pi over nine radians. Remember the question says, find it in degrees. So I take four pi over nine, multiply by 180 over pi to convert it to degrees. I cancel the pi, cancel nine here. So 80 degrees is the answer. Find the diameter of a circle with the central angle 225 degrees that subtends an arc of length 25 pi over four. So what do we have here? We have the theta. 225 degrees, and then we have the uh, length of the arc. So we have to convert, see the angle to radians. Every time you use the, the formula S equals R theta, theta should be in radians, you have to know that. So theta <laughs> convert 225, multiply by pi over 180, it will be five pi over four radians. So I can use here, R, I need the radius. From the radius, I will find the diameter D. So R will be S over theta. S is given, right? 25 pi over four centimeters. It's given. So 25 pi over four. Now theta, five pi over four. So we are dividing two fractions. Leave the first one, multiply by the reciprocal here, four over five pi. So when you simplify pi, pi, five, five, four, so five centimeters, this is the radius. We need the diameter, multiply by two. So the diameter will be 10 centimeters. Suppose a CD player makes 480 revolutions per minute. Through how many degrees will a point on the edge of a CD move in two seconds? Now, if you look at example nine solution, we see in the given 480 revolutions per minute and every minute is 60 seconds. So we 480 over 60 revolutions, that will be eight revolutions per second. We need how many degrees in two seconds? So we multiply the eight by two, we get 16 revolutions. Each revolution is 360 degrees. So I have to multiply 16 times 360, which is 
five seven sixty degrees in two seconds. Now circular motion, circular motion that means we have an object or a person or a car or something moving on a circle. See this is a point here that moves so the angle will be changing, the length of the arc will be changing. So the speed we call it linear speed v, the rate at which the distance travel is changing. So that's S over T, distance divided by time. So that's V. Now, W or omega, W we can say angular speed, the speed of the angle at which the rate, the central angle is changing. So W is equal theta over time, V equals S over time. Now I can start with the linear speed, V is equal S over time. We know S is equal R theta. So theta over time here is W and I can leave R. So I have another nice relation between V and W. So V equals R times W. That's always true. If you have the angular speed multiplied by the radius, you will get the linear speed. Now, suppose we have a point P on a circle with a radius 10 centimeters and the ray OP is rotating with angular speed, pi over 18 radians per second. We have three parts here. Let's find the angle generated by P in six seconds. So that's the time. Okay. So R is 10 centimeters, W is pi over 18. This is the given. Time is six, we need the angle generated. So W equals theta over time. W we know, T we know, theta, multi cross multiply here. So theta will be WT. So it will be pi over three radians or 60 degrees. Let's see part B, find the distance traveled by P in six seconds. So we need S here. So S equals R theta. Remember, theta should be in radians. R is given 10 centimeters. Now, C, find the linear speed of P in centimeter per second. Linear speed means we have to find V. Now, remember this formula I told you, V equals RW. So 10 is the radius here, 10. Pi over 18 is the W. If you multiply, you get five pi over nine. V, linear speed, centimeters per second. Now we have another example here. A man is riding a bicycle whose wheels are 26 inches in diameter. If the wheels rotate at 10 revolutions per minute, find the linear speed. We have to find the V and we have the diameter here so we can find the radius. And this is the W. The wheels rotate at 10 revolutions per minute. So every revolution is two pi. So W is 10 revolutions per minute. So 20 radians per minute. So V equals RW. See the R we get that 13 and this is 20. So 260 pi inches per minute. Now, I will leave here some questions for you to practice. This is question number one, find the coterminal angles to these. And then uh, if capital X is the smallest positive angle coterminal with minus 29 pi over five and uh, Y is the supplementary angle of 11 pi over 18, find X plus Y in degrees. Nice question. Find the degree measure of the central angle in a circle of circumference 144 over five meters that intercepts an arc of length eight meters. If the tires of a car have diameter 300 over pi centimeters and rotating at 500 revolutions per minute, find the speed of the car in kilometers per hour. Just a little Conversion here, you have to use kilometers and you have to use hours. Try that, please. 
and then a pulley is rotating 650 times per minute through how many degrees will a point on the edge of the pulley is move in two over three seconds, two thirds. Now here we have two gears, the smaller gear here, this is a radius three and then the larger gear is the radius five. The smaller gear rotates through an angle of two to five degrees. Through how many degrees will the larger gear rotate? Find that. Now, these are the answers of these six questions. Everyone, is the answer there? Now, for complete solutions, please, you can see the video on angle measure and circular motion. This is related to lectures nine and 10 pre-calculus old exams question. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I just want to remind you, this is pre-calculus course, lecture number 10. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.